Greetings, YouTube. My blood pressure right now is spiking. My heart rate is much higher than normal. I am doing my best to stay calm and not let some things that I have uh, read and been sent this week get to me. Um, I want to back up for just a second because at the end of 2019, which I know was over three years ago now, I was done with YouTube. I even flirted with telling my family that I wasn't going to upload another video. I had accomplished every goal that I ever wanted to achieve on YouTube in my lifetime in about two years. And I was content. And I'm sure there were a lot of people out there like, gosh, if only you would have. <laughs> um, but then, of course, the world shut down. The pandemic happened in 2020. Suddenly, I, along with most other people I knew, were stuck in their houses, unable to leave, uh, some like myself for a couple months, some others not so fortunate for a couple years. And I found myself dealing with my own mental health issues about being confined and not being able to see uh, dates or family or friends or, or coworkers or my students. I just found myself uploading videos out of like this cathartic sense of needing a purpose with no expectations for views or revenue or anything. And then 2020 uh, and then 2021 and then 2022 were the best years ever for my channel. And I wanted to slow down, but I felt like in a way I, I couldn't. <laughs> uh, I had so many people who were saying, I enjoy your content and I'm looking forward to more. And when you have people who appreciate you and, and who sort of they don't like literally need you, but they've maybe gotten used to tolerating you in a sense that they like to have some weird kind of exposure to you every day. It's just, I want to reward people. I know subscriptions are free on YouTube channel. I know that over half of my viewers on average aren't even subscribers. Uh, but I just feel like if you click on a video, you're owed something current, something relevant, and hopefully something interesting, even though I always say I upload so many videos on my channel even now that... I don't expect every video to be something that people would like. I just hope there's at least one a day that somebody would like. Well, it is no uh, mystery. We've covered this issue on this channel, and so many others have covered it too, that Kabam recently did a band wave. They did a band wave in Battlegrounds, and they did a band wave in the arena. Now, I know plenty of people who got hit with these band waves. I know some people who are temporarily banned. I know some people who are permanently banned. I know some people who are permanently banned and then changed to temporarily banned, assumption being because they were too big of spenders. And uh, one of those accounts I featured on the channel uh, recently because they showed that when they got brought back from the Kabam jail, a gift was waiting for them Probably, presumably, because Kabam wants to make them not so angry before July 4th sales. All of this is to say, I have three different ways that people have handled this privately that haven't made it to my YouTube channel. The first is people say, Prof, I can't believe I finally got caught. I've been using a Merc in the arena for years and, and finally, um, you know, the luck ran out and I'm either going to buy another account or I'm done with the game. Then there are people who are upset that they got flagged, dinged, caught, whatever you want to call it, and they just contacted me to vent. But there's a small amount of people, and I, and I, I do want to say this is small, but it's, it's still significant, that contacted me saying, Prof, I want to use your channel to air my grievances. I'm going to send you messages between me and Kabam talking about how some of these people like admit in the messages that they used say blue stacks or used a Merc, but that Kabam uh, has broken the game so much that they should essentially not punish them. I don't believe in defending those messages. And that's why you haven't seen a video on my channel posting and defending them. I sometimes respond. I sometimes stop responding. I sometimes don't respond at all because honestly, given how many messages I receive a week and how important my time is, or at least how much I try to value it, uh, 
I don't think it's worth my time. The anger and the hate behind the scenes regarding these messages has intensified. And, I, and this is a family-friendly channel, and so I cannot show the messages that I've received privately from people uh, who are so angry and so... Um, they've directed their anger from Kabam to me because I'm not using my channel to get out their grievances even though they clearly are in the wrong. And a couple of those messages have had to be tempted to, to even turn over to authorities because they've made some pretty direct uh, threats regarding the fact that they know I'm a public figure, and I didn't do what they told me to do. Essentially, it turned into an ultimatum, where if you don't handle my case and you don't cover it on your channel, then I'm going to make sure that something happens to you. This has, again, inspired me to want to step back. Because I'm just tired of it. I, I don't do this for a living, thank God. I don't do this for the clicks. I do this for the community. And the majority of the community uh, tolerates me. And some people, I love interacting with them, actually enjoy our interactions, even if it's just commenting hello in a, in a live stream. But with any mobile game, I'm guessing, as the years progress, the toxic part of the community just kind of festers and I'm now at that point with those messages where I'm just exhausted and maybe this is the beginning of the end maybe I'll, I'll look back on this video as like a turning point where I just had to step back and say I've done a thousand times and that's probably an understatement more um, traffic success connections community amazing friends than I ever dreamed that this channel would do and, and all good things must come to an end. But I also don't want my channel to be hijacked by the few toxic people that are looking to maybe accomplish that goal. Because sometimes when a bully hits you, the best thing that the bully can get out of it is for you to stay down. And I do believe in walking away from bullies, so I'm not using this analogy to take away that goal but I'm not really a fighter I'm not somebody who likes to throw punches call me a pacifist but I'm 35 I don't do well with threats and it's not worth it in the end to get that kind of message so if you're watching this and you're tempted to send that kind of message to me or anybody else just know especially if you're an adult like it's not worth it this is still just a game and I'm sorry that in this case you were super upset because your account got banned but I don't have the power to reverse the ban and I do trust Kabam 99% of the time that if they ban an account there's evidence behind it and just because you have told me that you don't know what the evidence is, doesn't mean I'm automatically supposed to believe you. That's my rant in this video. I know it's a very different kind of video, but I needed to say it. And uh, I hope it makes sense and maybe reaches the hearts of some people who might need to hear this kind of message.